I like, would it be able to get home? <laughs> um, yeah, I would it like probably have to stand outside to wait for the bus. The Montreal Metro closing at 11 p.m. is just one of several measures being considered to address Montreal's massive deficit for public transit if the government of Quebec does not provide more financial support. I think it's bad because it's already bad that it's at 1 a.m. and it's unsafe because a lot of people use the metro as a way to get home in, and buses are not always safe. It's a shame that they can't get more money from the government because it's such an important thing. Uh, you know, transportation, especially public transportation. In a confidential document obtained by Radio Canada, transport authorities for Greater Montreal, including the STM, detail more possible options to deal with the projected deficit of $2.5 billion over the next five years. Apart from stopping metro service at 11 p.m., halting intercity buses after 9 p.m., as well as making reductions to the frequency of bus and metro services. Deficits? Yeah are uh, the responsibility of municipalities, not the governments. But even though it is written black on white, we have been there to help. We have put more money than ever to help societies because of the pandemic. The CAQ government have proposed to cover 20% of the deficit, while Radio Canada is reporting that the Communauté Métropolitaine de Montréal is asking the Quebec government to pay 75%. We'll come up with another offer, but you cannot think that the government has the money to pay for 75% of deficits on which we have absolutely no control. This is, this is not a normal situation. In a written response to City News, the STM says that they currently have no intention of implementing the proposed scenarios, such as closing the metro at 11 p.m. The Chamber of Commerce of Metropolitan Montreal says that such measures would be bad for business. We want that public transit system to be functioning. The retail stores, the restaurants, they want people to come into downtown. They want people to feel that they will be able to go back at the end of the evening. So all those discussions cannot be about what services do we cut. It has to be about what should we keep in place so that the system remains functioning and fluid. In Montreal, Gareth Maddock-Jones, City News.